Well, hello, future investors, and welcome back to another weekly episode. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and your stacking goals are going to plan. I want to apologise for not uploading for about three days. I've had an absolutely hectic couple of days, a bit of a stressful day at work the other day, so I put a bit of a spanner in the works regarding the content. But yes, I do have uh, other things going on sometimes other than future investments so yeah that was the reason for the delay but nonetheless apologies for not uploading for the last couple of days i, I thoroughly missed it and uh, i thought well if i've got to come back after a couple of days off i've got to come back with an absolutely banger of an episode so in today's video i am going to be coming back with an unboxing of a one ounce queen elizabeth gold britannia coin Okay, so let's start the unboxing. Well, I've been waiting for this order for quite a while. In fact, I did a video on it recently saying why the Royal Mint postponed my order and it turned out to be an error um, or, you know, uh, something to do with my dress not being correct. Um, I'm going to have to take the glove off here because I ripped the last glove trying to do that. So you're probably saying, well, why are you wearing gloves? Well, just because I am. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's pull this baby out. Hopefully you're not going to see my address on the invoice. Normally it is always there. There we go. Let's pull that out. Nothing else in the packaging? No. Nope. So yeah, I ordered this piece from the Royal Mint and this actually completes my stacking goal for the entire year, if you can believe it. Um, I set a goal at the beginning of the year to buy two one ounce gold Britannias. I know, quite a, quite a big lofty goal, but I thought for me personally, it was definitely doable. It was more about giving myself a bit of a plan than the push to actually do it. Um, in the meantime, I've actually been buying a lot of other stuff. Um, I bought the one kilogram silver Britannia coin, as you know, um, and I've bought some other big pieces. So yeah, I did more than I planned, but I'm not upset with that at all because I completely believe precious metals is the best investment to protect yourself against that inflation. So here we go. Let's look at this beautiful piece. Oh my God. It never fails to amaze me. The substantialness of a one ounce gold bullion coin. It really is something special. That means I now have two of these i actually was in a bit of a dilemma i thought shall i order another king charles one or shall i go for a queen elizabeth piece and uh, i went for the queen elizabeth piece actually because i figured she's passed and i know they're probably going to stop producing these so in my experience i think that these will go up in value i have already seen a significant um, increase compared to the King Charles ones simply I guess because the Queen was a very favor favorable monarch and she's passed and I think people also think they're going to struggle to get hold of these in the future so I thought why not get a mother and son so now I've got a King Charles and a Queen Elizabeth so yeah this is very awesome this is actually my first Queen Elizabeth one ounce gold bullion coin and maybe you're asking, why did I go for a coin over a bar? That's because I like the fact that coins, at least Britannia coins and sovereigns in the United Kingdom are capital gains tax exempt. So if these ever rocket up in price and end up being more pricey than the, uh, than the current threshold tax limit, I will never have to worry about that because it's capital gains tax exempt. Whereas if I bought a bar, maybe in one ounce form, maybe one day the value of the piece would be over the threshold limit so therefore you're gonna to have to pay capital gains tax so when it comes to a substantial piece like this i'm definitely trying to get my pieces to be capital gains tax exempt very very beauty very very beautiful piece i love it awesome to add this to the stack it's a great investment piece obviously it's quite a substantial amount of money a lot of people do sort of worry about spending that sort of money on a precious metal bullion of this piece because i can understand why spending over £1,700 on this, this thing that just sits there and does, technically just sits there and does nothing. We know that's not true, but that's how most non-precious metals and investors will look at it. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a crazy thing to assume you're going to spend that money on. Um, I actually told my partner that I bought this a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, whatever it was. She said, oh, you're crazy. And I said, no, 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 no. I had to explain to her, it's not crazy. It's a good investment. But th that's the stigma sometimes spending such high amounts of money on precious metals such as gold and silver bullion has because it does seem so mental to spend such a, 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 a large amount of cash 
on something so small that just sits there. But as an investor, as a precious metal stacker, I know why I'm doing it and uh, I'm happy that I'm doing it. As always, I always wish that I bought more. I think when it came to this Una in the Lion silver bar that I bought years ago now, I only bought two and boy, do I wish I bought more. Such a beautiful piece and even though it's not capital gains tax exempt, this bar has got to be my favourite piece. It's just, at least in my bars, um, it's just a showstopper. It's, it's amazing. And, and they've gone up in value quite a lot. And they're actually very hard to get hold of now. Really, you have to kind of look at the second-hand market for those, which, as you will know, if you watch the channel a lot of, I don't ever buy second-hand. I buy straight from bullion dealers. Um, my favourite right now has got to be Tavix Bullion. Um, but I do buy from the Royal Mint. This was purchased from the Royal Mint for the simple reason that it's the only place I can find it that actually sells it in the blister card. I've looked at other online bullion dealers and no one seems to sell it in this blister card that I could find. Um, and I'm a bit of a sucker for consistency with things like stacking and collecting. I like to buy the same items. I don't like to have multiple different pieces. If I'm buying or investing in something, I like to keep it the same. So I decided on buying the, the, the blister card version over a capsule alone because I figured it helps it authenticate the item. It makes it easier to find. You're not going to lose it, drop it somewhere. It's easy to it's easy to find. And I just think it looks better, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with just getting one in a capsule. Um, you pay a little bit less because you're not paying for the wow factor of the blister card. So that probably sways a lot of people. But for me, just having it in this card when it's such a valuable piece, it really does go hand in hand for me. So having this now with the King Charles piece, that means my technical goals for the investment of the stacking year in regards to precious metals is, act is actually complete. Um, and in the meantime, since January, I also bought some other large pieces and small pieces that I didn't plan on buying. So I'm quite happy because that means in May of this year, which we're in now, I've completed my stacking goals for the year. It wasn't particularly a struggle, if I'm honest with you. This is an, this is an investing channel. Um, um, you know, I'm, I feel like I can be I can be open and talk about the financial aspect of how I managed to afford this, and it wasn't particularly a struggle. It took a few months of getting that money together, where I didn't have to touch my savings account, and I'm happy with that outcome. Um, I think that's a good way for me to do it. And now I've achieved my stacking goals for the year. Relatively early on, we're not we're not even halfway through the year. Uh, it's a good place to be. It leaves me with an opportunity to now take the other part of my money and invest it throughout different investment vehicles throughout the year. Right now, I'm really into the S and P five hundred, and I will continue to be for a twenty year holding period, like precious metals. Um, I'm thinking about increasing my monthly auto investment, so that would increase my yield for a 20 year return quite significantly and um yeah the other thing i'm going to be saving for is my buy to let property now um now i've purchased my goals for precious metals i can really get my head down and focus on saving for the first property to have as a buy to let in my portfolio so yeah that is really good for me because it gives me a good clear vision of where i want to be in the next maybe year and a half if i think that's a a hard but realistic goal to sort of get that money together to buy my first buy to let. So it's going very well for myself in terms of investing and stacking. And I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, I'm very happy I've bought this piece. It makes me happy that I've got this wonderful piece in my possession. It still gets me that I actually own gold bullion and silver bullion. It's pretty surreal. I feel most pressure metal stackers feel like that. But overall, I'm very, very pleased with this piece. It's absolutely stunning. There's not a mark on it. Seems like it's done a very, very good job at the quality control at the Royal Mint, which makes a change, to be honest with you. I think I'll leave the transfer on because I'm not planning to have it out of my stack particularly much. This one's going to be tucked away and really not really probably be filmed that much because obviously I don't show all of my precious metals. I just so some of it. So I thought, do you know what? I am going to unbox this one for you guys because... I had a couple of days off and I felt a little bit guilty and I thought, you know what, I feel bad just unboxing this for myself and sticking it away in my investment precious metal stack without showing you guys. So I thought, you guys deserve to see a big piece. I don't see a lot of people unboxing these at the moment. So I thought, I'm going to try and break that mould. And as a smaller precious metal YouTuber, show you guys it can be done. 
you don't just have to be one of the big boys to be able to get this sort of stuff. So, yeah, very pleased with that investment on that uh, one ounce gold Britannia, Queen Elizabeth. As always, a big shout out to the channel members. Uh, you've got 365 Days of Silver and the Stack Collector. They're uh, big supporters of the channel and a really big part of the YouTube Precious Metals community being channel members and helping other Precious Metal YouTubers out. I know currently we're on a bit of a, a charge to help Silver Stacker um, get a bit more uh, reputation in the community of Precious Metals. So if you haven't, go and check out the Silver Stacker. It'll all go and have a look at the other two guys, Silver, um, the Stack Collector of 365 Days of Silver. But otherwise, that's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. A slightly different setup. Um, we've got a guest um, in the house for the next couple of weeks, so that's taken over my filming setup. So you're probably going to be seeing this for the next few weeks. But you know what? I'm quite happy with it. It's quite a cute little setup. It's always great, I think, to break the mould and change the appearance of what I'm filming so it's not stale for you guys. I've got a nice little lamp here that I think actually does give quite a good glow. The video might seem a bit dark, but I think it picks up on the precious metals actually very, very well. So let me know what you think about this setup. Maybe we'll leave it for a while longer and uh, continue using it. But yeah, overall, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, if you're watching it in a weekday, I hope you have a wonderful working week as well. So until next time, thanks for watching. Keep stacking. And I'll see you in the very next episode. Bye-bye, guys. To watch another episode on future investments, click the link now.